C I E T N C E R T presents audiobook of mathematics for class 3 entitled math magic 3 chapter 7 part 5 time goes on page number 108 the true story of pir ki devi This page has a picture of a lady wearing sari at the right hand side top corner below this the story of pir ki devi is written in rectangular space covering the whole page let's begin reading her story my name is pir ki devi i live in a village in dhanbad district of jharkhand i never got a chance to go to school I remember that when I was 5 years old I broke my foot. I had climbed a tree to eat the jamun fruit but the branch broke and I fell down. My foot still hurts in winter. While grazing our goats we often got busy in playing. Once at the age of 10 years I got a big scolding. I had lost one goat. At the age of 15 years I was married my husband as much older than me my first daughter was born 3 years after my marriage later i had three more children when i was 20 22 and 24 years old time passed very fast then i was busy with my farm housework and looking after my animals but at the age of 35 years my world came to a stop my husband fell ill and died his brothers tried to take away our farm they beat me badly and said i was a witch some good people saved me we fought a case against those who beat me up At the age of 40 years I saw a police station for the first time when I was 45 I learned to read and write 2 years later I got my eldest daughter married now I am 50 years old I enjoy playing with my grandchild two of my children are studying in school page number 109 This page has some task based on the story on previous page. Let's begin reading this page. Task 1. Some things that happened in her life are given below. Mark these on her timeline. For example, when she was 5 years old, Pirki broke her foot. A is marked at 5 on the timeline. Part A broke her foot. Part B lost one goat. Part C got married. Part D had her fourth child. Part E first saw a police station. Part F learned to read and write. Part G eldest daughter got married. Below this The picture shows a timeline. This timeline is a sleeping line with numbers 5, 10, 20, 30, 40 and 50 marked at equal distance below the line. Letter A is written just above number 5 on the timeline. Just below the timeline at the middle of the page, age in years is written. Beneath this seven pictures arranged in sleeping line showing different events of pirki devi's life are given picture 1 shows a girl is falling from the tree picture 2 shows a girl standing near a goat picture 3 shows a big man and short woman standing side by side picture 4 shows a woman carrying a baby and three children playing behind her 
picture 5 shows a woman standing in front of police station. Picture 6 shows a woman sitting and reading book. Picture 7 shows a man and a woman getting married and an older woman standing behind them. There is a blank square box just before the picture 1. Question 1. Mark on the timeline when she was born. Question 2. In the blank box, draw a picture of Perki as a newborn baby. Question 3. Make your own timeline. Ask people around you and mark at least one thing that happened in each year of your life. The picture below shows a timeline with numbers 1 to 10 written at equal distance. Below the timeline, at the middle of the page, age in years is written. Question 4. Make timelines of people you admire. These can be from among your family, friends, teachers, etc. Page number 110 One day in the life of Kusum Let's see what Kusum does every day. Write down the time for each picture. For some pictures, the time is already written and you must draw the hands on the clock. In others, you have to write the time shown by the clock. Below this, the rest of the page has pictures showing the events from the life of Kusum in column 1, a clock in middle column and rectangular boxes in column 3. There are four rows. Let's begin reading row-wise. Row 1. Picture in column 1 shows a girl's face behind rising sun. The text below the picture says Kusum gets up early in the morning. The clock face in column 2 shows minute hand at 12 and hour hand at 6. The rectangular box in column 3 is empty. You have to write time here. Row 2. Picture in column 1 shows a girl drawing water from the well with the help of bucket and rope. The text below picture says she brings water from the well. The clock face in column 2 doesn't have any hands. In column 3, inside the rectangular box at 6.30 in the morning is written. You have to draw the hands of the clock face in column 2. Row 3. Picture in column 1 shows a girl cleaning her house with the help of broom. The text below the picture says she cleans her house. The clock face in column 2 shows minutes hand at 6 and hours hand at 7. The rectangular box in column 3 is empty and you have to write the time. Row 4. Picture in column 1 shows a girl carrying a big bag. The text below picture says she goes to school. The clock face in the column 2 doesn't have any hands. In column 3, inside the rectangular box, at 8 o'clock is written. You have to draw the hands on the clock face. Page number 111 The events from Kusum's life continue from previous page. Row 5 The picture in column 1 shows a girl's face behind the open book titled Math Magic. The text below picture says she is studying in school. The clock face in column 2 shows hours hand at 10 and minutes hand at 12. The rectangular box in column 3 is empty. Row 6. Picture in column 1 shows a girl standing near a hut and the text below says she comes back from the school. The face in column 2 doesn't have any hands. In column 3, inside rectangular box, 1 o'clock in the afternoon is written. Row 7. 
picture in column one shows a woman with one girl and one boy. The text below picture says she takes lunch with her brother and grandmother. The clock face in the column two shows hour hand at two and minutes hand at twelve. The rectangular box in column three is empty. Row eight. Picture in column one shows three children and the text below says she is playing with her friends. The clock face in column two doesn't have any hands. In column three, inside the rectangular box, five thirty in the evening is written. Row nine. Picture in column one shows a girl with an old woman. The text below says she listens to a story. from her grandmother before she sleeps the clock face in column 2 doesn't have any hands in column 3 inside the rectangular box 9 o'clock at night is written page number 112 now prepare a chart showing your daily routine there is a table below with three columns and seven rows In each row, column one has empty rectangular box for writing the time of the day in words. Column two has clock face without hands for showing time on clock, and column three has blank space for writing what you do at this time. The chapter seven, time goes on, part five of total. 14 chapters of the book ends here narrator akash ahuja sound recordists batilang lingdo and mayank kumar assistance in production by tanu gupta producer vimlesh choudhary this book is presented to you by c i e t n c e r t new delhi india